I had gone for a routine checkup and the doctor said my pressure was very high and referred me to a primary care doctor for treatment. That was around 25 years ago. Since then, Barbara Cannon has been keeping her blood pressure in check with medication and routine appointments. And I will admit to being rather upset when I was first diagnosed, which probably made my pressure go higher. But uh, eventually you learn that it is treatable and with medication and some lifestyle changes that it can be treated. Barbara, like many women, was diagnosed with high blood pressure without experiencing any symptoms. I really did not have any symptoms. That, I think that's the problem with high blood pressure. It's a, they, why they call it the secret killer, because people don't realize that they have it. Dr. Ernestine Wright, a primary care physician at Mercy Medical Center, says hypertension is more common in men than women but women can experience more problems. Women tend to have problems with their pressure getting elevated due to hormonal changes. Especially during menopause and pregnancy. Dr. Wright says there are several preventative measures, including a low salt diet, good sleep, regular exercise, and decreasing stress levels. Women are more likely to have problems with headaches, dizziness, a tightness across the chest, problems with hot flashes. And the difficulty is that some of those symptoms mimic what one would experience when going through menopausal changes. Dr. Wright says it's important to seek treatment for high blood pressure to prevent more severe health issues. In downtown Baltimore, I'm Janine Donaldson for WBAL TV 11 News.